painting. And I figured this was gonna be the easiest way for me to show you what I'm doing. Um, if you remember, this door was, originally it was white. Um, then I painted it a, called Dakota Wheat, a golden yellow color. And that became the base for my wood grain finish that I'm doing. And then the next step, I took a 50 part paint, 50% paint, 50% um, faux glaze finish. You can get that anywhere. Mine was actually a color place. It was a Walmart brand that I used 10 or 15 years ago when I did a faux wood treatment on um, our bathroom surround, our bathtub surround. Anyway, so I want to show you what I've done. So I took the 50-50 ratio of paint to glaze and then I took just a kitchen sponge. Um, I had a bunch that I had gotten at Dollar Tree for when the boys were little and we'd do fun summer games. We had a sponge toss, like we basically tagged with wet sponges. It was quite fun. We did a lot of fun stuff when they were little. Anyway, so I took that and I just wiped it down the thing. You want to do it in kind of a straight line. Um, and you don't want to have, I learned when I did the other door, you don't want to have like globs or big obvious spots because what happens, I, I, okay, jump back. I could just stain this door. It's a steel door, but I could just put a stain on it and it would look like a nice new stained do wood door. I don't want new. I want this house to be kind of a... You know, I say Norman Rockwell house, but if you think of Norman Rockwell, they were all old homes. They weren't the new 1950s track homes. They were old homes that had character and charm and lived in and loved and, you know, so I wanted a aged door. I looked at pictures of old wood doors and this is what I came up with. Um, so anyway, so this part here, you see where it's a little darker? It's going to look darker like here. That's where I had my paint a little darker here or here. Let me see where else. Down here. So all these darker spots are going to be darker when I apply the stain. Um, now I did have it a little heavy here. So I sanded and you can see a bit of the splotchiness, but I think that'll be okay. I think that'll end up, if not, I'll come back even with a Sharpie or something and make that like a knot or a dark spot. Um, so what I've done here, after this dried, I painted this part yesterday, let it dry. Um, I mixed gel stain. Um, Minwax has a gel stain. This one is Java. I think it's Java. No, aged oak. I tried the Java. I, it wasn't the color I wanted. I wanted it to be a nice dark brown to make the floors look even lighter and less yellow. Um, so this is Java. Again, aged oak stain and just a little bit of clear polyurethane. You want to make sure it's an oil base because oil and water don't mix. Um, but just a little bit. I bet I used, I'll, I'm going to actually make a tutorial and show you how to do this. Um, but I just took a little bit with a spoon, a plastic spoon, put it in this cup. Red Solo cups are good for more than beer. Um, put it in the cup. And then a little bit of polyurethane, you know, not even a quarter of a cup, just a little bit, just to thin it. Because if you use the stain that has the polyurethane in it, it is too runny. It just, it, it, I, I don't like it. This has a little more substance and the, ureth the polyurethane gives it the work time. Um, and the stain with it being the gel is a little grippier. It doesn't just slide right down. Anyway, so when you paint a door, I'll have to do that tutorial too. When you paint a door, it's best to start from the inside out. So I'm going to start here. Um, I also do the horizontals before I do the verticals. So I'm just going to do a little bit of that, but you can see what it does. So again, this is the yellow base. And then I sponged on leaving it streaky. Now this door does have a wood grain texture to it. 
The other one I had to create a wood grain. This one has a wood grain texture. So I literally just washed this with the 50-50 glazed paint color wash. Um, but so I'm gonna put my glasses on and start, and you can just see how it's bringing out the texture. The glaze does give it some work time, so it's not like paint, but you do want to be deliberate in your painting. You don't want to be too, too messy. So you want to take some time and really get in there. Now I'm going to, just for the sake of the camera, I'm going to go against what I said, where I said I do the horizontals. I'm going to go ahead and do this vertical so you see the, see how it looks. Um, I find if I start on the edge, I'll get like a run, like you can see right up here, there's like a, a drip right here. So sometimes I start in the middle, sometimes, because with painting I always start at the edge, so I admit I forget, but, but you have some work time with this. You can go through and fix it. gathering down here on the bottom, so I'll smooth that out. All right, now like I said, I'm gonna jump across. Now normally I would do that horizontal first, but I'm gonna, for the sake of this, show you, because I wanna jump up there and fix that, because if I let that, if I let this dry, it's gonna be darker there. And I don't want it to be completely um, uneven. I do want it to look like someone took some care when they painted this door. But, but you can see what's happening. with These parts that were darker, it's, it's staying darker. See, look, here we have drips here. But you have some work time with that. You, you can just come and touch it. And you don't want to have, like, I put it on heavy, but then I have a light touch for that last bit. It just helps and this is a satin polyurethane um, the reason I did the polyurethane is because I do need some protection here you could just stain it but then I'd have to seal it anyway um, because our dog Bailey knocks at the door when she wants to go outside so she would be taking this paint off or this faux treatment So, and, and it does, when you see the polyurethane on the dried one, well, and you can see it over there because that's dried, um, it makes it look like a wood door that has been stained and sealed and, you know, been here for years. Even though they just did this addition in 2006, 2007. Our house, if you've ever seen my photo album, our house was a little brown um, cabin, basically. It was just a square, you know, couple bedrooms, basement, and they added, this was, this was a wall here, and they added this door, our, our owners, owners, and the porch and on the garage. So when you've seen the pictures that it's a sweet little Cape Cod, they just had this amazing vis vision and gave me such good bones to work with. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to finish this up and I will post pictures on my Facebook page and I hope you are having a good day. Thanks for tuning in. And like I said, I will show you the exact, I will make a video, um, showing you the exact recipe for the paint and, and the items that I used. So look for that coming up. Eh. Maybe next weekend I have to get back to reality and work my Etsy shops and our youngest is heading off to junior year of high school tomorrow. And so anyway, hope you have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.